mamaya bang ko po sa inyo ang aming education templates. Okay. So, Canva has over 60,000 templates. So, even if you're an education, uh, Canva for education user, meron pa rin po kayong access to over 60,000 templates. So, it isn't limited to worksheets and presentations and stuff like that. So, congrats on having access to such beautiful template. Okay. So, today I will be discussing our distance education materials. So, if you want more information about our distance education materials, you can check out our website. So, yung presentations po, will we, we will be sharing these to you later on. So, you can click on the link later on, but then I will show it to you then. So, click on it. Ayan. So, just to go through this page, ayan, meron tayong templates. So, pinapakita niya kung ano mga templates meron tayo. We have planners, weekly schedules, posters, presentations. So, a lot of good stuff. And we also have here tips for you guys. And we also have various resources for you. Ayan. So, meron tayong mga blogs also. So, we have articles here that might interest you teachers. Click nyo lang po yan. And we also have FAQs. So, kanina po nag-discuss si Gladys ng mga FAQs, but um, meron din po tayo here for reference. Okay, so that is the canva.com distance education page. So, back to my presentation. Okay. So, ang first ko po na i-discuss na template natin is a R is R <laughs> yung presentation templates. Okay. So, alam naman po natin lahat kung ano yung presentation. Ayan. So, with the Canva presentations, you can create informative lectures, you can make personalized handouts or ebooks for your class. And you can also export your presentations as stunning websites. So, I'll show you. So, punta po tayo sa ating homepage. Canva.com. So, everyone will see the same thing. So, ito po yung homepage. And then here, we have the search bar. Yeah. Click lang po natin yan. So, Magsa-search po tayo ng presentation. But meron din po tayong presentations that are specific to education. So what you can do is you can type in education presentation. Then it will show up. And then you just click on it. Ayan. So ito na po yung ating mga education presentations. So, ayan, you can scroll through it. Ayan, look for something na interesting sa'yo. So, we have presentations for science, for, ano pa ba? For history, for art. Ayan. So, we have a lot to choose from. So, for my demo, I will choose this one. There. Okay. So, yung presentations po, they come in a set. So, you will see here na meron image na you can apply to your presentation. So, this is the title page. And then, if you want to add more, here, kita po natin tong plus, plus, plus sign. And then, it says add page. And then, just click on it. So, we have a blank page. So, page, just click on it there, and then it automatically applies. So you have this first page, and then you have this second page. And then if you want to add more, ulitin nyo lang po. So, lang po add. And then ito, add ko na po to. And then just continue doing that. So, I hope hindi naman po ako masyado mabilis and nakaka-follow naman po tayo. So, there. 
just add pages. Ayan. So, pag nagamit, pag na-add nyo na po yung mga page na gusto nyo, add nyo na po customize So, for this one, uh, I can type it like designing educational content with feeling ko teacher ako. Hehe. <laughs> teacher Thea. And yeah, and then other pages, you can do the same. You can customize it according to your needs. And then if, if you're done, you can just add this last page that says thank you. And then as you can see po, yung mga presentations, they also have placeholders here. So you can just change it to whatever. Um, you learned something new today. Yeah. So, if you want to share this, uh, and you want to share it to your class, you can share the link of the presentation. So, dito po tayo, sa upper right side, next to the title, you can see this box that says share. So, i-click-click po natin yan. Share. And then, pwede nyo po i-copy yung link. So, you just click on this, copy link. And then, that po, wherever nyo po isa-send yung link sa students nyo. And you can also share it as a PDF for your students. So, kunwari, mahirap yung internet kasi minsan wala po yung internet ganyan. Kahit offline, pwede po nila ma-access yung lecture ninyo. So, what you want to do is, dito po sa pinakataas, sa upper right, next to the present button here, there is this small drop-down button na parang arrow pa baba. You just click on that. Yan! And then, there are options. There's present and stuff like that. Now, if you want the PDF, you have to click on this button that says download. So, again, upper right, drop down, and then click on download. There. And then you can choose. If you want to, if you want to download, kunwari, yung title page lang, you just click on it. Ayan. Pero syempre, that doesn't really make sense. We want to send all the pages. So, you click on this, all pages. Ayan. All pages. And then, done. Okay. So, PDF standard, all pages, and then click download. Okay, so Canva is preparing my design. There, and then it will show sa inyong downloads. So, let's see. Click on it. And then there. So, you can download the PDF. And this PDF, pwede nyo na po siya isend sa students nyo. Pwede nyo siya i-email, ganyan. So, if wala silang internet connection, may access pa rin po sila sa lecture ninyo. Okay. So, that was sharing the link and downloading it as a PDF. So, we can also share it as a website, actually. So, balik po tayo sa upper right button natin, next to percent. Click on this drop-down thing, and then click on website. Okay? So, there are different kinds. So, presentation, scrolling, classic navigation, and standard. So, you can explore that po on your own time. But now, I will be showing you itong scrolling, which I personally think is the best-looking one. So, yun. What you do is, choose nyo lang yung scrolling, and then click on open website. Ayan. And then, it automatically presents it to you as a website. So, since scrolling siya, you just scroll down there, and then you see all the pages of your presentation as a website. Yay! <laughs> okay, di ba ang saya? Ayan, it looks so good. Ayan. So, that was presentations. Next is, uh, going back to my presentation, next is, Oh, sorry, to recap, so 
I taught you how to download it as a PDF, so you can make it a handout or as an ebook, and you can also export it as a stunning website. So our next template is the worksheets template. So for the worksheets template, po, we have two different kinds of worksheets. So we have the printable worksheet and we have the digital worksheet. So let's go to printable worksheet first. Okay, so printable worksheet. So medyo madali naman po siya magets from what it's called. So basically, it's a worksheet that's printable. So with that in mind, nung dinasign po yung printable worksheets, as you can see, um, they're mostly white background. So makikita po natin dyan. So for example, ayan. Ayan, and then there are also some not my color. So kung marami po kayong ink, you can choose itong mga colored versions. Pero kung gusto po natin magtipid, pwede rin po siyang purely black and white like this one. Okay. So that is the printable worksheet. Uh, I also want to discuss yung extendable lines natin for the worksheets. So for example, this one. Um, ayoko nang isama tong why is the story significant to you? So ayoko na siyang isama. I will select it all. Select it and then delete it. So, meron na po ako ngayong empty space dito. So, hindi po siya maganda kasi walang sense. Bakit siya nandyan? So, kailangan pa po natin ng more lines, di ba? Para maging even yung itsura ng page natin. So, kayo na, she taught you how to add lines. So, mag-add lang po tayo ng L. Uh, I mean, press on L. So, L. And then it automatically adds lines. Ah, ayaw ma-select. Wait lang. Ayan. Ayan, line. So may na-add na line. So right now, it's parang ang taba niya, ang weird. So hindi siya same dun sa iba. So you would have to add lines before you would have to add lines manually. Ganyan. So isa-isa. So now, we have extendable writing lines. So this is an extendable writing line. So what you do is, diba, ito po yung bounding box. Meron po siyang mga knobs dyan and then mga hands, ayan. Wow, ang galing. <laughs> so, idadag nyo lang po and automatically may mga lines na nanaan. You can also drag it here. Pwede din po siyang horizontal. Pwede din po siyang vertical. So, you don't have to add lines manually. Pwede nyo na lang po siya i-drag. Ayan. And automatically nang nag multiply ang inyong lines. So, how do you add writing lines? So, kunwari, magsistart po tayo from scratch. So, we have this, um, let's say, we copy this. Let's say, wala pa tayong lines at all. Hindi sila nag -e exist How do you write? How do you add the lines? So, what you do is, punta po tayo dito sa objects panel, go to the elements tab, and then sa elements tab, there is a search bar. So, what you do is a search bar, you type writing lines. And then, mag-show up na po yung writing lines. Ayan. So, you just click on it, and then, you drag it. And then resize it. So, parang makipot po, no? What you do is, you make it bigger. And then, adjust, adjust, adjust. Okay. And then, you copy it. And you paste it. Ayan. So, copy, paste. Ayan. So, meron na po tayong writing lines. So, you can add that on your own then. So, meron tayong other kinds eh. Meron tayo nito. For younger kids. So, if they want to practice writing, pwede rin po yan. Yan, extend horizontally and extend vertically. So, I hope that's helpful to you guys, to you teachers. Okay? So, back to our presentation.
Next is the digital worksheet. So, what is the digital worksheet? Hold on. Ayan, naglo-load. What is the digital worksheet? So, it's basically a worksheet rin. Pero, since nakikita niyo po yung pagka-design niya, marami, marami po siyang colors. So, hindi po siya ideal to print kasi mamumulubi po tayo sa ink. Hirap na po. So, ang digital worksheet is ideal if yung class nyo po also has access to Canva. So, instead of printing it, pwede na nila i-type directly yung answers nila into this worksheet. So, they type their answers here. Kunwari, oh, la, 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 la. So, kunwari, ano yun? May sense yung tinype ko. Ayan. So, ita-type lang po nila yan. And then, you type in your name. Yeah. So, that's basically a digital worksheet. Okay? So, to recap, we have two different worksheets, printable and digital. So, printable is something you can print, and digital is for students who also have access to Canva. And a helpful tip is to add writing lines. So, if you want to look for writing lines, you just type in writing lines on the element search tab and then the writing lines show up okay so next is so next is graphic organizers so graphic organizers um they're basically like worksheets pero ang difference is specific yung use niya yung graphic organizers so it's specifically to lay out your information in a visual way so kanina po yung pinakita kong worksheet parang puro lines, something you'll write on. It's not very visually appealing. Unlike for graphic organizers, ayan. Siguro it's also make the information mas easily digestible to you. So you can, so you can just type in the graphic organizer on the homepage and then it will lead you to this page showcasing all the graphic organizers that we have. Okay, so back to our presentation. Next is brainstorm. So next po natin is brainstorm templates. These are very new templates na katatapos lang po namin gawin. So what are brainstorm templates? So um, ang use niya mainly is since wala nga po tayo sa classroom, so, itong brainstorm templates is a space where the teachers and the students, um, the whole class can collaborate while they're online. So, we have a lot of different brainstorm templates. We have mind maps, mood boards, storyboards. We have the classic brainstorm template. We also have group cards. We have a birthday group card. So I will show you an example of our mind map. So I'll click on this. Oh, also, if you want to access the brainstorm templates, punta lang po kayo sa homepage, and then on your search tab, just type in brainstorm templates. Okay? And then, so ito po ang at ating mind map. I also want to show you other templates natin. So, let me quickly show you. So, this is the storyboard brainstorm template. So, you can collaborate on a storyboard. Yung cool thing po dito is, meron siyang iba't ibang parts. So, pwede kayo gumawa ng sarili nyong character. For example, Itong head na to, ayan. Kakabit natin siya sa katawan na to. Ayan. Medyo, ang haba ng leeg niya, ba't ganun? Wait lang. Ayan. And then you can, ay! Kailangan lakihan. Ayan. And then, you can do that to all the other parts and then you can create your own character para dun sa storyboard ninyo. Okay. And then, 
itong mind map, so you can type in any idea or topic and then sa post-its, pwede nyo i-type yung mga ideas niyo. So, pwede kayo mag-add ng more post-its. So, you just drag it and then copy and then paste and then copy nyo yung arrow. There. Copy nyo siya ganyan. Okay. So, one more thing to make collaborating easy is you can add actually comments dun sa design ninyo. So, how do you add comments? Kunwari, idea nyo na to, mar marami kang feelings about it. You want to comment on it. So, you just click on it and then, kita po natin to, itong icon na to, uh, it says add comment. Click po natin yan. And then, you can address the person directly. So, kunwari, Mayroon akong comment kay Gladys. At Gladys. At. Okay, so. Ayan. Si Gladys. So, I have to invite them to the design first. Pero pwede nyo po i-comment directly kay Gladys. And then type in what you want to say. And then when you comment, uh, magsisend po yun ng email kay Gladys para malaman niya na nag-comment ka dun sa idea niya. So, para pwede nyo po ma-address agad. Okay, so that is collaboration. Yun po yung collaboration. Back to our presentation. You can also make group cards. So, ayan, medyo sad po ang birthdays ngayon dahil sa quarantine. Pero magstay lang po tayo sa bahay natin. So, you can also make group cards. So, here is an example of a birthday group card. So, happy birthday, Alison. And then, and then, and then, yung, pwede nyo po isend yung link sa class ninyo. And then, individually, pwede sila mag, uh, mag write ng message to Alison. So, ako. Hi, Alison. Happy birthday. Have a good one. Yay. Okay, and then pag, pag naka-fill out na ako, another person can fill it out. So, let's say, happy na birthday pa from Jay. Ay, from Jay. Ayan. So, hindi rin po limited to text yung pwede nyo i-add. Like yung tinuro po ni Che kanina, you can add in animated things, stickers, GIFs, photos. Actually, if you want to add a photo of Allison, you can also do that. So, punta po tayo sa objects panel dito sa elements. Ayan. So, search po tayo. First key. And then, kunwari, gusto nyo animated. Punta po tayo dito sa... Uh, how do you say this? Sa may right, sa right corner, merong icon dyan. Click nyo po yan. Tapos, click nyo tong animated. Apply filter. And then, lahat po nung stickers, lahat nung animated, yung makikita. So, pwede natin i-add tong. Ano maganda? So, si Allison may like sa ice cream. So, add natin yan. Ayan. Ay! Ayan! Check natin dito. O, oh, ba Ang cute. May animation. So, pag na-receive ni Allison yan, feel ko talaga matutuwa siya. Okay. So, that is collaboration on a birthday card. So, it can be anything. Kahit hindi birthday. Thank you card. Congratulations. Anything. Okay. So, recap. Ang meron po tayong iba't ibang templates under brainstorm. Meron tayong mind map, mood board, storyboard, birthday group card, and actually marami pa po eh. You can explore it on your own later on. Pagtapos ng ating workshop, search nyo po lahat ng templates na yan. So, helpful tip is you can add comments on your templates. So, if you want to address a specific idea, 
pwede nyo i-tag yung person directly. So, they will see the comment. Okay. So, next are some tips for creating effective educational content. So basically po, to create effective educational content, it has to be relatable. So it has to relate to your students and to the class. So what I can, what, uh, so ang gagawin ko po today is magdademo po ako sa inyo how you can personalize your templates. So I have this demo. Click on the demo. Okay, so I have this worksheet about my favorite food. So we have bananas, we have this, what do you call this? It's an auntie <laughs> And then we have this chicken leg, strawberries. Okay, so what I did is, um, inano ko siya, fini, inano ko siya to the Filipino market in a job. So I made it. So, I changed it to this. Ayan. So, meron po tayong sorbetes, squid balls, taho, and ube. All the good things. So, tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano ito gawin, okay? So, ang gagawin po natin is back to the original. See? It says before. And this is the after. Okay. So, ito. Copy page. Copy po natin. Para pwede natin balikan in case na nagkamali ako. Okay, so what we do is we delete these elements. Ah, naalala ko na what it's called. It's a pretzel. Sorry. Okay, delete, delete those elements. Tapos, punta po tayo sa search. Click on the elements tab. Okay. And then, search po natin. So, Pinoy... Ah, na-search ko na ako. Oh. Pinoy food. And then, lalabas po siya. So, ayan, meron po tayo dito lumpia, pastillas. Ayan. Nakakatawa to. Merong bowl of ice. O, di ba? Pag may party, meron, pa, meron tayo laging bowl of ice. Meron tayong lechon. Okay, so, ang i-add ko, ito, itong puto. So, click nyo lang po yun, and then, apply nyo lang siya sa page nyo. Ayan, i-drag nyo siya kung saan nyo feeling maganda siya tignan. Ayan, puto. And then, gusto ko nitong halo-halo. Ayan. Parang ang laki niya, no? So, liitan natin. Medyo rotate, rotate natin siyang ganyan. Okay. So, dito medyo blank, no? Pagyan natin ng... Ano pa ba? Lagyan na... Ay, nag-load. Lagyan natin ng taho. Yan. So, kanina po, na-mention ni Gladys na meron na rin tayo mga Pinoy fonts sa library natin. So, if you want, pwede nyo rin pong gamitin yun dito sa design niya. Okay? So, ayan. Pwede natin gamitin tong Kubao. Itong Kubao Narrow. Ayan. So, pwede rin po natin siyang lakihan. Move po natin. Move, move, move. Parang hindi siya bagay dyan, no? Huwag na yan. Huwag na yan. What else can we add? Kuchinta. Fun fact. Favorite ko yung kuchinta. <laughs> Not that it matters to you. Ayan, so move natin backwards para para hindi natatakpan yung text. And pastillas, add natin to. Ayan. 
So, pwede nyo pa i-move around yung mga bagay according to what you want. There. And then, pwede nyo rin po siya lang gawing Tagalog actually. So, ang um, aking favorito pagkain. Pwede nyo rin po gawing Tagalog yung instructions. Pero feeling ko, mas magaling po kayo doon. Kaya hindi ko na po i-attempt na gawing Tagalog instructions. So, yun. That is an easy way to make your um, educational content more relatable. Diba? Kasi feeling ko naman po yung students nyo may ligrin po sila sa kuchinta. At sa puto. Diba? Okay. So, that is one example. So, another example is this one. Okay, so this is a worksheet um, on your, his uh, actually I'm the graphic organizer for your history notes. So I made it more Filipino, ayan. Meron tayong mga bayani, meron din tayong Filipino font. So again, papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano ko to ginawa. So copy lang po natin to. Um, you don't have to copy. Pwede nyo na rin po i-design directly sa template. But then, kung gusto nyo po balikan yung original kasi parang na nagkamali kayo, pwede nyo rin po i-copy. Okay? So, ang ginawa ko actually is delete this. Ayan. Uh, I deleted that. And then, balik ta sa element search tab natin. So, Pinoy, Pinoy. Ayan. Ayan, so we can see meron na po, ayan, yung mga bayani natin. Pwede rin naman tong flag kung gusto ninyo. So, scroll pa po tayo. So, for this one, want to use ito. Si Rizal, lagay natin siya dyan. Okay, natin siya dyan. Ayan siya. Okay. And then, this is Gabriela. Silang. Silang? Si Silang. Ayan, you can make it bigger. Para lang maganda. So, diba, tinakpan ni Rizal yung date. Nako, nako Rizal, tinakpan mo yung date. So, what you do is, i-drag mo lang siya outside. Pwede mo naman siya i-redesign. Hindi naman strict na dun lang siya. Ayan. Also, nung ginagawa ko to, napansin ko, walang place para ilagay yung name. So, pwede mo na lang din ilagay yung name. Diba? So, copy natin yan. And then, write name. Tapos, gawin nating pantay. I think yung date and class, hindi naman nila kailangan ng ganong kalaking space. So, pwede silang mas malapit sa isa't isa. Yung name would be longer. So, mas malaki yung space niya dyan. Also, itong history notes, pwede nating palitan ang font to um, kya po. And then, specify um, na it's for Philippine history. So, you can write Philippine history. Ayan. Diba? Ang ganda. Ayan. So, that is one way to make your worksheets more relatable to your students. So, from this, you can change it to this, or pwede ito. 